Welcome to my CBSE English teacher. Today let's look at the line by line explanation of the poem Keeping Quiet by Pablo Neruda from class 12 English. If you're watching my video for the first time, consider subscribing. You can listen to the explanations of chapters from classes 10, 11 and 12 English. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a video. Let's move on to the video now. This poem is written by Pablo Neruda, a Chilean poet. He won the Nobel Prize for Literature in the year 1971. This poem promotes peace and brotherhood. Stanza 1 Now we will count to 12 and we will all keep still. For once on the face of the earth, Let's not speak in any language. Let's stop for one second and not move our arms so much. The poet is asking everyone to count up to 12 in their mind. Now this number 12 may represent the hours of the clock or even the months of a year. So he wants all of us to be very still and silent and calm, not doing any work at all. So he says that when everybody is calm and quiet, People across the nations will unite. They will be together because they will not be speaking in their own languages and they will all be quiet and they will speak only one language. And what is that one language? That is the language of silence. So he wants everybody all over the world to be united through the language of silence. So he says that when everybody speaks the language of silence, they will all be united. All the humans will be united on the face of earth. And further he says that for at least one moment, let us not move our arms either to signal or to fight or, or to argue with each other. So he wants everybody to be completely calm and silent. So in this stanza, the poet has used only one poetic device and that is alliteration. You can see in the line number 3 and 2 and 3, he has used we will. The word sound is repeated. Stanza 2. It would be an exotic moment without rush, without engines. We would all be together in a sudden strangeness. Fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whales and the man gathering salt will look would look at his hurt hands. The poet wants everybody to be calm and still. And so he says that this moment would be an exotic moment. What is the meaning of exotic? Exotic means unusual and exciting. So this moment when everybody is silent is going to be an exotic moment. So there will be no rush. There will be no engines running. And nobody will be running madly after anything. Everybody will be calm and quiet, united with each other in a very strange atmosphere in a sudden strangeness what is a sudden strangeness that means everybody will quiet be quiet and calm nobody will be doing any kind of work that's why the poet says that this is a sudden strangeness now fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whales that means no person will be going to catch fish or no person would be harming any other living being either for food or to earn his livelihood and the man gathering salt would look at his hurt hands so all people this implies that all people who are working endlessly that is without any stop will look at their own injuries and the damages they have caused to themselves and they will have a moment to think about what they have done to themselves during this mad rush actually the poor Poet wants everybody to stop and find out what they have achieved or what they have lost because of their mad rush. He gives examples of man gathering salt whose hands are hurt. Here he wants to tell everyone to stop in order to see and feel their achievements and how much they have lost for the sake of attaining such materialistic needs. Here again the poet has used alliteration in line number 3 and for the words we would. Word sound is repeated. Third stanza. People who prepare green wars, wars with gas, wars with fire, victory with no survivors would put on clean clothes and walk about with their brothers in the shade doing nothing. 
what i want should not be confused with total inactivity life is what it is about i want no truck with death so in the third stanza the poet is talking about people who indulge in different kinds of wars so he talks about green wars wars with gas and wars with fire so green wars is nothing but war against the nature and war against environment wars with gas and wars with fire are the use of chemicals etc to destroy everything around so he wants the people who are indulging in these to think about the consequences he says that these people merely act according to the orders of someone else without understanding that these wars actually cause no survivors when nobody is there in the end of the war what is the use of all indulging in these kinds of war so he wants all these people to put on clean clothes what is clean clothes to talk about peace he wants them to realize that these wars which indulges only in killing people is of no use at all and so he wants these people who are indulging in war to behave like brothers and walk in the shade shade here represents peace so he wants them all to unite forget the enmity between them and think of each other as brothers the poet here is trying to promote peace unity and brotherhood so what he says is what i want should not be confused with total inactivity so when he says that everybody should stop doing their work it doesn't mean that they should be totally inactive he wants them all to introspect that means study oneself and understand the meaning of their life and what they have achieved and what they have lost and even try to improve the quality of their own life i want no truck with death so he says that he does not want any kind of association with death this happens only when they start indulging in different kinds of wars so in this stanza he has used two poetic devices one is alliteration the example is wars with and the other one is repetition the use of the word war again and again so stanza 4 if we were not so single minded about keeping our lives moving and for once could perhaps a huge silence might interrupt this sadness of never understanding ourselves and of threatening ourselves with death here the poet is trying to say that everyone is working single minded that means he is only thinking of working continuously and endlessly only with the aim of completing their task and achieving more and more they are all driven by their targets of survival and at the same time there is a threat of death also so he says that at least once we all should be silent and this huge silence will help us to understand ourselves better and look into our achievements and improve the quality of our life he also says that by keeping quiet we will be able to understand the true meaning of our life literary devices are alliteration with two examples we were and so single minded stanza 5 perhaps the earth can teach us as when everything seems dead and later proves to be alive now i'll count up to 12 and you keep quiet and i will go here the poet suggests the best example to learn from is the earth or the nature he says that earth during the winter is very quiet and silent and lifeless because everything seems to be frozen but after some time when the season changes everything comes back to life so similarly we can also introspect our own lives and start understanding what we have to achieve and how we have to go about our life so this will give us a new meaning and we'll be able to understand the purpose of our life and improve the quality of our life too so now the poet says that he has conveyed his message to all of us and then we have to keep quiet and start the introspection so that we will be able to give a new birth to our soul and improve the quality of our life i hope you like today's video for more interesting videos do subscribe to my cbsc english teacher like share and give your valuable comments below thank you for watching